Namaste everyone. So in this video we will solve problem 5.9. As per the demands of some students, I have been asked to solve this problem. And this problem is very basic problem. If you know the concept, you will be able to solve this problem. So let's get started. So in this problem, we have to find out the magnetic field at a point P for each of the steady current configuration shown in figure. So let us let us discuss the what is the concept that will be useful to solve this problem so first we will write the concept so concept first the first concept is let's say you have arc you have arc and its radius is r and let's say make it a reference line so this is theta 1 and this is theta 2 fine and let's say this is the i current so this is the point let's say this is point p so we have to find out the magnetic field at point p so it will be so the i am writing the magnitude so it will be mu not i over twice r theta 2 minus theta 1 over 2 pi now how this formula came that's a different thing you can drive it using the Biosavart law. In this problem, I don't have to drive. If you want to know how to drive this formula, then you can comment in the comment section. But now, direction, what will be the direction? So, you can use right hand rule for the direction. So, in this case, if you use right hand rule, so let me tell you one different thing the that convention for the inward magnetic field for the inward it means into the base we use this symbol this is into page when magnetic field is inside the base and this is for outward out outward so when the magnetic field is coming out of the base we use dot circle in dot or yeah or we can say dot in circle whatever so dot in circle will be the right and cross in circle is into the page so this is the concept one now second concept is so let me let me close in this this is the concept one now the second concept is now you have a buyer fine and in which you are having current i you are having current i and uh, let me take a razor so this is the wire fine now you have to find out the magnetic field at point p fine at point p so let's say this is the line joining to this end and this is the line joining to this end now i am assuming that this is theta 1 and this is theta 2 fine so now the magnetic field at a point p will be i am writing only magnitude because direction you have to find out using right hand rule so using right hand rule you can find out the direction whether it will be into the page or out out of the page so b is equal to mu naught i over 2 pi s what is s s is this distance s is this distance 2 pi s sine theta 2 minus sine theta 1 now we can solve this problem so we have two concepts and now we can solve this problem now let's solve part a so in part a
uh, I have to let's say um, I will start from here due to this wire this is v1 and due to this v2 and due to this v3 and due to this v4 fine now i will write v1 so for the case of v1 if you see it is a wire having theta1 because we are finding at a point p so having theta1 theta2 is 0 now v1 will be 0 and for the case of v2 for the case of v2 for the case of B2, if you see the current is in counterclockwise direction. If you see from the like in the front, if you find out the magnetic field at a point P, then the current is in counterclockwise direction. When you use right hand rule, I cannot show you how can I like I don't know how to how. I can use the right hand rule how can you show in this but it is difficult to show in this but you can understand you put your thumb at the arc of the circle so you will find out that the direction will be outside when you use right hand rule the direction will be outside so and the magnitude will be mu not i over twice r and the theta but theta 2 minus theta 1 will be pi by 2 pi by 2 over 2 pi and the direction is outward out of the page fine i'm now coming to the b3 b3 will be zero how because theta 1 and theta 2 again in this case if you see one of the angle will be pi and sin pi will be zero again so it doesn't make difference so b3 will be zero now coming to the b4 when you will find out the b4 so see in v4 uh, in v4 arc we have clockwise current so when you use right hand rule you will you will see that the magnetic field is into the page so the magnitude will be mu naught i over twice r and theta 2 minus theta 1 will be pi by 2 pi by 2 over twice phi and the direction i'm sorry because r is here for this case for this case is a and for this case is p fine so i'm very sorry and v4 will be v4 will be into the page now the net if you see net uh, magnetic field at a point p so b will be you can either write in in inward direction or outward direction because the b2 that is greater than b4 so we will find out b2 minus b4 that will be uh, b2 so mu naught i over 4r plus pi and pi will cancel out so i am again doing same mistake it is not 4r it is 4 and it will be 1 upon a minus 1 upon b have I done some mistake? Yes, obviously, I have done some mistake. So, this will be 8. It is some uh, mathematical calculation, you can do it easily. So, because 1 by 4 into 2, 1 by 8. 1 upon A minus 1 upon V, and what will be the direction? It will be out, out of the pace. Now, coming to the B part. For the B part, we have three sections. For the B part, we have three sections. Let's say this is V1. Let me change the color. So this is V1, this is V2, and this is V3. Okay. So now V1 for the V1. If we see that theta 1 is becoming 0 and theta 2 is becoming pi by 2. Theta 1 is becoming 0, theta 2 becoming pi by 2 because at the infinity the theta 2 will increase, increase and it can increase till pi by 2. 
so mu naught i over 2 pi s s is here what is s this is the s this is r so 2 pi r and sin pi by 2 is 1 now what is the direction if you use right hand rule now i can show you in this let's say this is your thumb fine and these are your fingers okay now you rotate in this direction put your finger uh, thumb in the direction of current and try to rotate your finger and that will show your mag magnetic field direction so it will be inward so i will make cross fine now b2 it is again a semicircle so it will a semicircle in 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 that half semicircle was there in part a so if we use formula then mu naught i over twice r and theta 2 minus theta 1 is pi pi over 2 pi and the direction is inward you can use uh, right hand rule for this now b3 for the b3 for b3 we have mu naught i again the magnitude will be same because the current one, one angle will be pi by 2 and the another angle will be what pi or 0 mention in the comment section i wa i won't tell but it will be either pi or 0 tell me what it will be according to this diagram fine so it will be 2 pi r and the direction will be same because into the page if you use right hand rule it will be into the page fine now for the net magnetic field again simply add because there is no other direction it will be inward into the page so b is equal to b1 b2 b1 plus b2 plus b3 so let me write it as mu naught i over 2r and if you take it as common then you can write as 1 upon pi plus 1 by 2 and the direction will be inward so this is the solution for the same so we started with concept and how to derive these formulas it is another thing so it is it is a good discussion if you are if you facing any difficulty to driving this formula let me know so that's how you can solve this problem now we will end this video here thank you